You attract what you think about the most and your life is a mirror of your compounded thinking. Let me mess around with your head a little bit. Come with me to the next part of the video and let's have a chat. I was taking a walk last night and I had a few thoughts that came to my mind and I wanted to share them with you. And some of you won't like to admit this, but we're all self-made. It's mainly the successful people that usually admit it, but we're all self-made and we all had a major part to play with where we're at in life right now. Sure, we all face different circumstances. Life is not always fair. I've experienced that. You've experienced that too. But we all have the ability to respond, which is called responsibility. And the problem is that most people don't take responsibility. They don't do this and how we think and respond after a situation, a circumstance, a trial is what makes us stand out from the rest of the pack. We decide to do something negative afterwards. We decide to do something positive afterwards. And our thoughts are so powerful that they drive our behavior and our attention. So if you're paying attention to a story in your mind, then that story will likely repeat itself again and again. And it'll repeat when it's repeated enough times. What will happen is that will now get stuck into your subconscious mind and get deep into your subconscious beliefs after you repeat a story many times, many times, many times, many times. And if you're negative all the time, you're going to create negative beliefs. And your beliefs are what's stopping you from achieving your big goals and dreams. If you have big goals and dreams, that's what's stopping you. If you had goals that are this high, for example, but your belief system is this low, then which one do you think is going to win? It's always going to be your beliefs that overpower your goals and that's what's going to win. So that's why you don't achieve many of your goals because you don't believe in yourself enough. You have limiting beliefs that are holding you and slowing you down. And sure, sometimes we can win and we can kind of fluke it and hit the goal, but your success will never exceed your personal development for too long. Something's going to happen, something's going to shatter, and it's going to bring you back down to your level of development. So make sure you're continuously working on your growth and your thought patterns and your thought systems. On the other hand, if your beliefs are so high and you're taking massive action, but you're not seeing much results right now and you're annoyed and frustrated, trust me, I've been there before, you're about to become very successful. It's going to happen. It's bound to happen as long as you keep on being consistent and you keep on persisting and you make sure you find vehicles that actually work. Because I mean, if you're working in a vehicle that doesn't have much potential, but you are exercising your faith, you're exercising your work ethic, you're exercising everything, it could actually be the vehicle. So you have to have an alignment between your thoughts, your beliefs, your work ethic, your drive, and have a good system and a good business or a good model, whatever it is that you're pursuing. It's everything that this message can actually be for. When you think about something so much, let's go back to the thoughts. You're commanding your subconscious mind to help you bring those thoughts into fruition. You're sending messages to the subconscious mind to pay attention to those thoughts. And what you think about grows. What you focus on grows. So if you focus on love, you'll experience more love in your life. If you focus on hate, you'll experience more hate in your life. If you focus on failure, you'll experience more failure in your life. If you focus on the fear, you'll have more fear in your life. If you focus on overcoming the fear, you'll have more overcoming in your life, more success in your life when you focus on success. You get the pattern here. So your subconscious mind goes to work for you. Actually, I need to say this. Our subconscious mind has about 11 million bits of information that come to it per second. Think about that. You can't even imagine. I mean, this textile, your body's textile, what you're feeling, what you're hearing, what you're seeing in your peripheral vision. There's so many senses that we have and all of them are getting a lot of messages at the same time. But your conscious mind is only getting 50 bits of information per second. What trains and what tells your conscious mind which 50 to bring to its attention. It's what you tell it. It's what you keep on telling your brain what to give you. It's what you focus on. What you focus on grows. And so every single day, over 80% of our thoughts today are the same thoughts as yesterday. So what you got to do, you got to make sure you interject, you interfere, you jump right in and you change the pattern. And it's going to be a little bit hard in the beginning until it becomes a habit. So you have to be intentional about this. Have you ever wanted to buy a car? Then all of a sudden you see that car everywhere. You wanted to buy a Honda Civic, for example or you wanted to buy a Mercedes E-Class or you wanted to buy a Maserati or you wanted to buy whatever you wanted to buy. All of a sudden, you see that car everywhere. Is it the manufacturers, all of a sudden, they knew that you were searching for that car. So all of a sudden, they started manufacturing more cars and putting them out on the road and becoming more aggressive with the sales. So 
Come on. If you're focusing on a big goal in your life and you have this complete focus and concentration about winning a certain task, it might be a three month goal or six month goal and you've cleared the deck and you made sure that you are totally engaged in that process. All of a sudden you see so many more opportunities come your way. Isn't that true? You see you someone contacts you or you contact someone and there's an opportunity there. You might find an ad that, that is completely in alignment with your goals and where you want to head to. Just all these things come together together and it kind of feels like why is this all happening at the same time it's because you're focusing on them there's a couple of things that are happening behind the scenes and we'll get into that in a second and it also works the opposite way if you're focusing on problems so much it can absolutely drain your energy and then all of a sudden all these other problems start popping up in your life why because it's what you're focusing on so change isn't just about expressing your thoughts and feelings all the time I see a lot of coaching what they do is they want the person to keep on saying what the problem is and what the struggles are and they keep on getting their clients to repeat the story again and again and again and replaying that emotion and I think there is a small part of this that has to be done which is expressing your feelings and your thoughts and getting it out of your brain and putting it on paper and there's even methods of writing a letter and getting it out of your system and burning it for example you know if you upset with somebody write a letter and burn it there's people that do that but also you can empty it in to your own journal and just express it and articulate your thoughts and usually when you articulate your thoughts and your feelings what happens is now you've got you box them you box them in a way where now they're systematic and organized and you know how to think about them moving forward that's how you become emotionally intelligent but I don't think you should dwell on them continuously. That's what keeps you in that state and in that zone. What you need to do, the story in your head must change. You have to give prominence to a new success story. You have to give attention to the stories of victory, the stories of happiness, the stories of success. Now, not only does our brain go to work for us and give us the data that we program it to find, we also run off vibrations and frequencies. It's amazing. If you're vibrating at a low and negative level and frequency then people will notice that your vibe attracts your tribe and your energy introduces you before you even speak and people notice this you attract who you are so when you vibrate with positivity with assurance with confidence with courage with leadership and an unstoppable mindset people get attracted to your vibration and people are the reason why we succeed some people say oh, I hate people well what do you want to what do you want to become a dolphin instead are you exiting the human species we can't live alone guys we are community people and we become depressed without human interaction think about what happened in lockdown man that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this a career for myself because I had so many friends and family members and colleagues and just people I knew that were just suffering from depression mental health was at an all-time low and when I speak to them I thought I had to do something about this so that's why I started a coaching company officially I've been doing coaching for many years but I wanted to officially do that as my main thing and that's why we started this YouTube channel and by the way if you like this content don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell below like comment and share it with someone else that would love to hear this or needs to hear this a lot of us are suffering in our own thoughts look who are your customers people who are your co-workers people who are your seniors at work people who are your employees people who's your family people your community people everything is people it's all people and your thoughts create your social circle and your relationship so remember this your thinking got you to where you're at today you need to borrow someone out else is thinking if you want to get to a higher level borrow my thinking for now I'm always borrowing other people's thinking people already figured out the exact problems that you're facing right now you're facing something someone else has faced it before and they know the solution they've gone through the hard jacker and they've overcome that and it's in a book or it's on a YouTube channel like this it's in blogs it's in articles the key is to have enough desire to want to find the answers I want you to raise your standards when it comes to your thinking. Don't allow false stories to become true stories just because you kept on repeating them in your head. Don't allow life to drag you down like that. I've let that happen in the past. I used to be addicted to drugs. I used to be all trouble. And I'm telling you, man, my thoughts put me down the drain. Now my thoughts elevate me to a higher level and they put me in a state of excellence. They put me in a state of abundance. They put me in a state of happiness. They put me in a state of contentment. The world is the way it is because it's the way that you you see it. I've spoken to 120,000 people from the stage in total so far in my career. And every single one of them heard a different message at different times. It's amazing. You've got so many people in the crowd. I've spoken to up to 5,000 people at once. And every single one of them 
had a filter that they heard my message through. It might have been from their teachers, it might have been from their parents, it might have been from their religious background, their nationality and culture, their experiences through life. Everyone hears messages in a different way and views the world in a different way. Some people liked me, some didn't. I mean, can you believe that? <laughs> Just kidding. Some thought my ideas were great and some didn't. Why? Because everyone's thinking is different. Our philosophies are different. Our beliefs are different. Our problems are different. Our priorities are different. Our egos and humility levels are different. And everyone is going through a different phase of their lives right now and always. We experience life together, but we experience life differently. That's the power of communication and human interaction is to be able to have empathy towards others and understanding towards others and human connection to know that we're all at different phases in our lives but we need to understand how to be empathetic towards their situation and be able to express ourselves in case maybe we can help other people that are going through something similar to ours and maybe we have solutions that we've come across and so going back to the subject is our thoughts design our reality so if you want to change your reality the best thing to do is redesign your thoughts that's what you need to do my advice is that you obsess yourself over good thoughts over big goals over well well-written life plans over things that will bring you joy and I want you to obsess yourself over becoming future focused but be grateful and present in the present that's one of the problems that we face as entrepreneurs myself uh, what happens is we're so addicted to work and we want to get the goals done and we want to achieve big things in short times sometimes we condense the time frames and then we do another condensed time frame and we forget to be present and pay attention to our surroundings because man we don't know if we have tomorrow and I get it sometimes we want to run rush towards something and especially when we feel like we're developed enough and we can get it done right now we want to go 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 and some of us feel like we don't have that much time we've got to get things done now trust me I know I have a lot of urgency in my life too but I've learned to be able to disconnect at certain parts of my life for example at night time I disconnect uh, for a couple of hours depending on the phase of my life this part of my life I am busy even at night because we're building a YouTube channel and we want to serve people but I keep my Saturdays and my Sundays completely open for my family other than the goals setting and all that stuff on Sundays. You have to learn how to be present. That's the best present that you can give to your family and your friends and your community. Look, you are what you think about the most. Remember that. And here's a question I want you to ponder on and answer in the comment section. If you become what you think about the most, what would you think about the most? Let's explore your thought patterns and redirect them towards how you want your life, how we want our life. Okay. And let's work towards that together as a community i want to make sure we build a community of change a community of people that want to become unstoppable reach high levels of excellence become high performance have an amazing mindset be able to motivate the world and people around us and we can still be human we can still love we can still have fun we can still be present at the same time we're not just building a life of excellence in work we want to build a complete life of excellence hey i hope you enjoyed this video i enjoyed sharing this information with you don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell below like and comment your thoughts in the comment section we're here to serve you god bless you and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye hey friend i hope you liked the video before you go make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell below like and comment in the comment section we'd love to hear from you and make sure you check out the other videos that we have we're going to be releasing so much amazing content to serve you so hey have a great day and god bless you bye bye